What is up? Thank you for coming to my channel, Prison POV. So I got a letter from my homeboy Nick. He wrote back. No surprise there. We're good friends. Known him for a long time. I know him from the streets. Known him from the pen. I feel kind of bad though that it took me this long to write him. We just kind of fell out of communication. I'm out here living life. Things happen. But not too long ago, I made a uh, video called NLR. I didn't talk about the organization. A couple of random stories. People I know. The very last story was about me and my buddy Nick Brimage. It's more funny than anything. Let's go watch the video. Anyway, in the comment section, someone tells me, Small World. We're making a video with this guy Nick Brimage in it. So did Wes Watson. I was like, what? Wes Watson made a video about Nick Brimage? Now, I don't watch Wes Watson videos. I know someone who likes them, follows them. And so I got a hold of this dude and said, Hey, have you ever heard Wes talk about a guy named Nick Brimage? And he sends me a link and I watch the video. Damn! I was blown away by it. The thing that caught my attention... I mean, yes, Nick had a little bit of an issue. He did end up getting jumped. He took his lumps like a man. He's still active to this day. Ethics, methics, whatever. But the bell that rang the loudest in that video when I watched it, the thing that really tripped me out, is how Wes totally put him on blast. Threw him on straight but front street. That's what I got from the video. Shouldn't be talking about people doing videos about people when they're still in there. That's the thing. I got some stories too about people, but the ones that are still in there, I don't even bring their name up because I don't want to draw no attention to them. However, I guess Wes didn't think about that. Because he went in there and told a video. In his video, talked about how my homeboy gets all spun out, stays up, gets all high, gets all crazy, made a tomahawk. Which, let me tell you this, that's not... Not everyone knows how to make a tomahawk. That's not for everybody. If you went to prison and start asking at a poll, hey man, do you know how to make a tomahawk? It'd probably be at 6 out of 10. Not everybody. You don't go into reception and start sitting down and teach you how. Wes threw Nick out there. He's making tomahawks, getting all spun out. Here was the kicker though. Said he was on the toilet talking about whacking a cop. Why would you put that jacket on a man? Why would you tell everybody for the whole world that my fucking homeboy made a tomahawk and was going to whack a cop? Dumb motherfucker. So I wrote Nick. Hey Nick, you ever heard of this dude named Wes? Can't keep your name out of his mouth. Nick wrote back. Let's hear what he has to say. Let's hear what Nick has to say. This all right here, this is him talking to me. We'll pick it up right here. It's a five page letter by the way. We got a lot to talk about man. I hope you guys brought some coffee with me. So, so anyhow, What's up, Fulio? You're not the only one to tell me about how all this shit Wes is talking on YouTube. These cops and COs been telling me about it for a few months now. Probably half the people watching them videos are cops, COs, and squad. Wow! So trip on that. So for a couple months, the cops have been telling them, Hey, bro, this dude Wes out there is running his mouth about you. And that's who his audience is. Cops, COs, and squad. And he's telling me everything. Talking about how my homeboy motherfucker makes Tom Hog. So, Nick did have an incident recently. Let me tell you about it first and I'll tell you. What happened was he caught a battery GBR on an inmate. Hence, him and some other guys removed a pimp. In November 2018. They picked it up. The DA did. Or they referred it to the DA. They picked it up. He caught a new term. He was fighting in court from November 2018 to November 2019. Going to court. Nick was for a removal he did on a pimp with a broke dude's face. Let me hear what Nick has to say. Why he's in court. He says, They had come down from 13 years with 85% in a strike. Man, my heart breaks for him. He's already been down a long ass time. He does removal, putting him work because he's a bad motherfucker. And what happens? Kick gets a new fucking term. DA picks it up. They had come down from 13 years, 85% of strike, to 6 years, 85% of strike. So came down from 13 to 6, not too bad. I go back to court, and these CEOs and squad start talking about all this shit, old boy saying, dope and tomahawks. Next court date, they, they jump back up to 11 years on us. Fuck. I wonder if this shit got something to do with it, putting a motherfucker on blast and dry snitching. So... Goes to court, they offer him 13. Goes back, they offer him 6. He goes back and they go, 
No, we heard about you and the dope and the tomahawks. Go back up to 11. Wow! Are you guys picking up what I'm putting down? It's crazy. Homeboys in there putting in work. You're out here running your mouth about them. Let's talk about putting in work, though. Let's see what Nick has to say. I asked him. I asked him some things about Wes. Is he a bad motherfucker? Did he have the keys? He answered my questions. Oh, yeah. Wes is the baddest fool. He did his whole term out of state. We consider out of state Kush because they had the video games. Lifers can't go there. And the cops. A lot of it comes down to the cops. These CCS, that's why they're weak as puppy piss because the cops there are the Brenna cops. Same out of state. The cops are the Brenna cops. They're not the green uniform wearing CDC that'll come in and fucking wreck you. No, it's these Brenna cops. They're weak. So, spent his whole majority of his term out of state at Delano CCF and Shafter CCF. He ain't never done shit, never put in no work. He's nobody. Never put in no work. I believe it. But damn, how'd he get that Dago on his stomach? Because let me tell you this. If you ever see BKS, Bakers, or Bakers sold on somebody, you better bet your ass they earned that. I'm going to get that shit away for free. Same with IE. Pretty sure Dago has that policy too. I don't know how. Oh, but you know if you're Wes Watson, you could finagle it. You just got that coming. Shit, yeah, right. And you talk about we're fake? Fuck, we, at least we fucking earned our ink, homie. Just putting that shit on. Shit. Like, I don't know. Nuts, homie. It's nuts. So all this time at a CCF, out of state, and but Nick forgot to add Mule Creek here. Probably didn't know about that because fucking Wes probably wasn't running around there. I told him, but he was at Mule Creek, which he was. Let me tell you about a CCF, though, man. I've been to two of them. They're weak. Community Correctional Facility. I mean, basically what it is, is the town, like Taft, Bakersfield, Delano, they'll get a building, they'll open it up, and they'll tell CDC, hey, send some of your inmates to us. We'll house them for you. And they say, okay, but we're going to just send you our very, very low custody inmates, the ones that ain't really kicking up that much, that much dust. And yes, Nick was at a CCF this time on his AX number, but he did a, a, a K number where he did nothing but level 4 180 time. Nick's with the business, bro. Motherfucking West couldn't even hold a candle to that fool. Mm. It's me heated though when you got some gnat talking about a good motherfucker, bro. Crazy. So, he ain't never put in no work. He's got that Dago disc, I guess. He, I don't know, got out of a Cracker Jack box. I'm not sure. Anyways, this is trippy too. His whole fuck druggy message is fake. It's for YouTube. That's the YouTube Wes Watson talking. Now, I can promise you this, man. That he was not... In the pen, saying, hey, fuck druggies, druggies are pussy, druggies are weak. Like in his video, he told, he said everyone to the world, he goes, yeah, you know, Brimage, I can see how pussy it was that he was on the dope. Dude, bitch, please. You would never have told fucking my homeboy Nick Brimage that he was pussy. You're not in there telling the homeboys, the ones that are on drugs that are weak and they're bitches. You're out here telling everybody that. Safe behind your keyboard. Oh, druggies are weak, druggies are bitches. No, nah, but look at this, though. See what Nick says. Oh, yeah. Did Wes mention how he was getting high at Delano CCF? Stayed up for a couple days, acting all weird, and ran around at 2 a.m. Telling everybody there was 30 cops in the rotunda and tower getting ready to come in. And everybody jumped up trying to grab all their contraband and get rid of it. And no one was there. There was no cops. It was fucking in Wes's head. He was all spun out acting creepy. And yet he has fucking more nerd than a broken tooth to talk shit about other people. And he's doing the same fucking thing and they're getting spun out. Don't make us start writing other people, bro, to get co-signed this shit. Shouldn't have to. It doesn't have to. But, bro, come on, you were in there getting high, dog. You know you motherfucking told everybody there was 30 cops in the rotunda. You are up for a couple days, fool. And it's the best part, though. Grab all their contra contraband and get rid of it, and no one was there. And his homeboy, Anthony, flagged him for using speed. Looks like it says Anthony Red. I might say Anthony something. Anyways, homeboy flagged him for doing speed. Imagine that. Is that why you sobered up in there, Wes? Because your homeboy flagged you, weren't allowed to use no more? Let's talk about this, though. Chip on this and the keys. The keys, man. You know, because Wes is a shot caller. He's got the keys. Got the keys, man. Hold up. I'm looking for something. There it is right there. Wait. So in that video, Wes goes, Yeah, I didn't have the block. I'm talking about a shafter CCF now. A CCF. I didn't have the, I didn't have the yard. I had the block. I had to block it, Shafter CCF. Dude, come on now. 
I'm not even a block at Shaftesbury CC. I know what a block is. If you go to a level three or level four yard and you walk on the yard, see these big square things. They look like blocks. And they're filled with cells, so you can, they call them cell blocks. Now, Shaftesbury CC has a dorm live, and they don't have blocks, they don't have cell blocks. You know, the keys no damn block. They have dorms, little 30 man dorms. And dude, there's nothing to brag about. I couldn't even imagine getting out of the pen, going to your neighborhood, and you're like, yeah, what's up, homeboy? It's a from Shafter, dog. Had the keys to the dorm, homie. But like, really, bro? Dude, they'd laugh at you, bro. They'd clown you for bragging about having the fucking keys to the Shafter CCF, dude. Really gonna clown you when you brag about having the keys. Didn't even have them. The fuck? Here's what did Nick say, though. The whole time I was there, Pup from Sat Satanic Skins had the dorm. He might have left the dorm to West by default when he went home, but I was already gone. By default, because it's a CCF and there's a gang of first-termers. Not that many people there, that much time. Probably no one there really could have it. Pup's like, fuck, I gotta leave him with somebody. I guess I'll leave him west. If in fact, he even left him with them. Nick, when Nick was there, Pup had the keys. Which makes sense, because when Wes was telling his story, he said that Pup had to go in the bathroom and calm him down, talk him down, and get him back onto his rack. Hold up. And if you had the block, Wes, why didn't you go in there and Get Nick off the toilet and calm down. Probably because you're scared of him. Probably because you know fucking Nick would break you off. Boy, that's not even a question. So yeah, he bragged about having the dorm. About having the block. Didn't even have it. Pup had it. Crazy shit. This is another thing that confused me. Shout out to Parr. He really cleared things up, man. Because Wes also said he did a shoe term. But see, when you do a shoe term, get kicked out to a level 4, 180. It's called a shoe kickout yard. That's why Corcoran, Pelican Bay, and Tatchby Shoe all have a level 4, 180 shoe kickout yard. When you're done with your shoe, that's where you go. You don't go from a shoe to a CCF. Here Nick is, I mean, here at fucking West is saying did a shoe term. Never talked about his level 4 180. Park clears it up. West never went to the shoe. He went to the hole in Oklahoma. Big difference, dude. Big, big difference, dude. You cannot call a hole, any hole a shoe. There's only one, there's three shoes in California, man. It's Cure Housing Unit. And it's not the fucking hole in Oklahoma. That's fake and whack that you didn't even say that. I keep this one dude all the way to the curb. The skinhead I met at saw dad. I, I met him. He walked up. We start talking. I was like, what's up, homeboy? Where'd you come from? So I just got here. I did two years in the shoe. Came from the shoe. I was like, oh, shit. Right on. Respects, bro, dog. Like, um, which one? Pelka Bay, Corcoran, attached me. He's like, no, I just, you know, the hole in my county jail. Like, what? The hole at your county jail? Yeah, I was there for two years. The shoe. Dude, the hole at your fucking county jail ain't the fucking shoe. I'm trying to send a false message out because the shoe's where all the big homeboys are. That's where the action's at. And you were trying to make people think you were there, trying to perpetrate a fraud, like you were there when you weren't. Straight and talk, calling other people fake, dude. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. So, wasn't even in the shoe. He's just fake, man. He's weak. He's whack. Got no respect for him. That's about it, man. I can only stand to talk about that fool for so long. But there's no way I was going to let him come on here on YouTube, start talking shit about my homeboy. He made two fucking YouTube videos and an Instagram post. Get off his nuts, fool. So I'm not going to do that, so I've got him a homeboy, I'm, I'm glad. That's what good that came out of this incident, is I got touch, in touch with Nick again. We're talking, I told him, bro, don't even trip, I'm going to do this term with you. I'm going to write him, I'm going to keep money on his books. And I thank you to the guys, everyone who sent money for him. He said thank you, we appreciate it. Nick's a good motherfucker, man. He didn't deserve that fucking backstab. I mean, weren't, weren't you guys fucking friends, Wes? Weren't you guys buddies in there? And then you come on here and you called him pussy? I seen how pussy he was, he did dope. Fuck, you didn't tell him that in there, bro. The fuck? So yeah, man, fuck that shit. So I'm touched with Nick now. He's my dog. Appreciate the help. I'm going to keep writing him. And I'm cutting the string on this other fly. Peace.